Maureen for Wild Orchid Crafts and I'd like to share my project with you today. I made a little candy box along with a matching 6x6 card. I do have a start to finish video on this card that I will play at the end of this video and I will also link all the products that I use today down in the description box along with links to Wild Orchid Crafts. They always have specials running and they have um, a clearance section and starter packs. They have some unbelievably great products and they're always getting new products so I hope you stop by and check them out. They're my absolute favorite product to use. So the first thing I did was cut a box from the Cameo. I'll have the um, design number for that box in the description box below and I put it together. It's very simple to put together. I used the Snap Collection by Simple Stories in the 12 by 12 to make this box and the reason I like it is it's double sided so as you can see it has the diagonal stripes on the side and the polka dots on the top and these are great for um, little candies. I, inside I put a gift card that I wrapped in tissue paper that way it's not um, moving around too much in there and I, I stuffed a little bit of candy in there and on the front here I cut this birthday out from the Cameo. I added some of this gorgeous uh, stamping glitter. It's the Joanne Craft Essentials and this one is Crystal Gold. And to get the glitter on this I ran it through my Xyron sticker maker backwards so the adhesive was on the top and then I just added the glitter to it. I rubbed it in with my fingers and burnished it. And I added some seam binding to the sides. I will link um, some seam binding that Wild Orchid Craft has. They have the most beautiful seam binding. I've used it in the past and I currently don't have any but I did place some in my last order so um, I'll show you that soon but you will love their seam binding. I used some of the chrysanthemums from the set A and these are QVR023. If you follow me at all you know that these are probably my favorite to use. I added some white leaves in the back. These are MKX450 and as you can see they're white. I just added glue to them and added some of that stamping glitter. And what I used is this essential glue pad where you add the glue to the, the pad and I just dipped them in that and then added the glitter and that worked wonderfully. I added some of the stamens. Here are the white stamens, MKX565. And I added two of the tulips in the back, which I love. These are MKX302. And I think that's it with this. Like I said, this was super simple to put together and very fun. And I did do a matching card, as you can see. Um, on the front of this, this happy and birthday is attached. This is also a cameo cut. So I couldn't, it was too big to run through my Xyron. So I went ahead and used the glue pad for that as well. Dipped it in there and actually took the pad to the word itself and added the glitter. I let that sit overnight. And for the papers, I used some white cardstock cut to six by 12, which gives me a six by six card. I used the Snap Simple Stories and also the basics pad for my back. It's a little hard to see but it's a lined paper in the back. And then I use the diagonal stripes from the color Vibe 1. This is really cute paper. Then I added some flourishes that I cut out from the Cameo along with some of the leaves. Let me zoom in just a little. I use some of the chrysanthemums. Um, I have some hip rosebuds here, which are GST014. I love using these. Beneath it, it's a little hard to see, but what I started out with was um, my base was some of the rose organza trimming. It's MKX366. And I use this a lot and I still have quite a bit left. This is absolutely beautiful. I even cut pieces when I need them. So I love using this. Underneath I have a, a doily and then I have some more leaves. I have some of the tulips tucked in, stamens, 
And I also used one of the resin flowers, GST161. These are really fun. As you can see, they come in several colors. So there's one tucked back there. And I also have some of the chrysanthemums, which are MKX105. So this was really quick to put together, and it's a matching set. Um, if you'd like to stay tuned for the start to finish on this card, then please do check out Wild Orchid Crafts for all their amazing products, and all the links will be in the description box below. Also, I'm sorry, I did throw in a couple of these stamens. These are MKX576, and I cut mine apart, so there are two little pieces right there and there that are I just cut from one of the stems. You can usually get about four pieces out of just one of the stems. And a little bit of baker's twine added in there. And a couple of those leaves. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for watching.